welcome back to the channel and welcome to Cars and Coffee 2019 edition in London. So the event was held here around the same time last year in the same lot, so you've got Topaz detailing just down there. This year's set to be even bigger, even better, and then they drive through to McLaren Technology Centre. So I'm here to capture the beginning bits and just kind of talk you through anything and everything that does arrive at this event. to find a place to start here because as you can see we're at Topaz for the actual event the unit is open for everyone to visit and kind of see the cars they have hidden away in there but this entire car park is full of different sections different supercars but what I'm going to kind of do is highlight the main ones because honestly there's too many people and there's too much to cover in one sort of walkthrough section the main hypercars are here so we'll start here so walking down you've got one of three centers at this event this one's black with red accenting looks really good and then Pagani Huayra with red pinstriping again but this one's accented on aftermarket by Yanomise you've got half carbon fiber half white but the main talking point is this exhaust. I'm going to overlay a clip here because the backfires on this are honestly insane. <laughs> Next up we've got this F12 TDF all the way from Monaco and then down here we've got the other two McLaren Senna's and a McLaren P1. This one again all of them have different kind of liveries which is really cool. It shows all the customization that MSO do offer. This one's kind of overlaid on here and then small pinstripes as well. It kind of highlights the aerodynamic sections of the car and again I'm still yet to see one spec without that extra window panel but again why would you? So the P1, this is one of the Hypercar Trinity, parked in race mode, and again, one of three. I think everything here is kind of coming in threes. You'll see what I mean in a second. So this is finishing Volcano Orange, carbon everywhere, as kind of standard. And over here, we have a lot of Veyrons. So different ones. I, I have no idea what's going on here, but you've got a 16.4 Veyron finishing two-tone very nice and then a full carbon Vitesse this one's got one of the world's most expensive number plates on it F1 as well as blue carbon everywhere you can see and the wheels and the interior even have kind of navy accenting to match which is amazing this is the second of the P1s and a Gera 1-1 and this the most insane paint job you'll see on a P1 and then the third Bugatti so Grand Sport it's cool we got three different variations of the hypercar but this one seems to have a tent fixed on the roof instead of the hard top In case you didn't know, that's an SVJ fitted with a Balboni exhaust system. You can kind of see the changes just through the mesh there. But conclusion with that, every SVJ needs an exhaust. Anyway, there's some cool cars inside the unit, so let's go check out what they have in there. few more just to give you a bit of an idea of the sheer number of cars that have showed up We've got SV 570 a pista with a stunning singular stripe down the middle looks great gold wheels on this GT3 RS GT3s F12s AMG GTRs and Aventador SVs absolutely everywhere stunning TDF here as well you start to forget about the special cars just because there's so much to even look at I 
hope this gives you a better idea. I know my filming has been all over the place, but you've got super bikes, super cars from every angle. So I'm gonna catch them all leaving just so you can see all of the cars in action. But yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep rolling the camera and see what we can capture. Thank you. 